Hello. Today I have the honor of praying on behalf of St. John the Divine, Anglican Church here in Victoria. As people gathered online for these prayers, we find ourselves on so many different traditional territories. Within our diocese of islands and inlets, we're on a journey of truth telling, of reconciliation, and we're open and hoping for transformation. Um, at St. John's, we acknowledge and thank the Laguangan people, also known as the Songhees and Squamalt First Nations, for allowing us to live, work, and play and pray on their lands. I give thanks to the ancestors, supernatural ones, hereditary leaders and matriarchs, creatures big and small, for looking after the rich resources and cultural teachings of this beautiful land. So wherever you are, take a bit of time to be present in this moment. Think about the place you find yourself, if you know the traditional territory, name it. With all the uncertainty swirling around us, we hold so many anxieties. The anxieties of the people around us as well as our own anxieties. So today, let's um, acknowledge those. Um, but in acknowledging them, let's be confident that God is present with us and shifting our intention from sitting in that worry to finding gratitude and celebration in the circumstances of our life. So let's begin with a psalm, Psalm 105. Alleluia. Thank God. Pray to God by name. Tell everyone you meet what God has done. Sing songs, belt out hymns, translate God's wonders into music. Honor God's holy name with alleluias. You who seek God, live a happy life. Keep your eyes open for God. Watch for their works. Be alert for signs of their presence. Remember the world of wonders God has made, God's miracles and the verdicts they rendered. O seed of Abraham, their servant, O child of Jacob, their chosen, God, our God, in charge of the whole earth. And God remembers, remembers the covenant. For a thousand generations, God has been as good as their word. It's the covenant that was made with Abraham the same oath sworn to Isaac, the very statute established with Jacob, the eternal covenant with Israel, namely, I give you the land. Canaan is your hill country inheritance. When they didn't count for much, a mere handful and strangers at that, wandering from country to country, drifting from pillar to post, God permitted no one to abuse them and told kings to keep their hands off. Don't you dare lay a hand on my anointed. Don't hurt a hair on the heads of my prophets. Remember this, God led the people out singing for joy. God's people marched, singing their hearts out. Alleluia. So let's pray together today saying, Alleluia, we give thanks to God. For the whole of creation, oceans, rivers, mountains and valleys, deserts and forests, birds of the air and fish of the sea, all living creatures. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. For our city, the roads and paths that connect us, the places people gather, the places that create belonging. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. For our neighbors, the people we see every day, the shopkeepers, the workers, bus drivers, children, elders. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. 
for our community helpers, police officers, firefighters, paramedics, doctors, nurses, teachers, counselors, social workers, faith leaders. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. For the people that help us wonder, musicians, writers, poets, dancers, knitters, artists. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. For the challenges of each day and the, the ability to keep on with our struggles. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. For our homes, for the many places we call home, we give thanks. May our homes be places of refuge, of safety, and of comfort. In our loneliness, O oh God, may we find, we, may we know your presence. In your chaos, may we know your calm. When our homes are not safe, protect us, O oh God. Remind us that you desire life for us, that we are your children and there is a path to freedom. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. For our families, for the many ways we know family, O oh God, we give you thanks. May our families be people of refuge, safety, and of comfort. In our sorrow, O oh God, may you share our tears. In our celebrations, may we hear your laughter. When our families are not safe, protect us, O oh God. Remind us that you desire life for us, that we are your children and there is a path to freedom. Alleluia, we give thanks to God. This week, we especially pray for our schools and all the people that make them vibrant places of learning, caring, safety, and sanctuary. For students, O oh God, we ask your blessing. Be present with us, compassionate God, in our hallways, in our classrooms, and on our playgrounds. Create in our learning places your holy ground. We'll end our prayers today again with the prayer from the Cormela community in Northern Ireland. Cormelia, Cor, Corimela offered this prayer back in March at the very beginning when our season of uncertainty was just starting. And as we move out of summer and into new uncertainty, specifically of the school year, let's pray. God of our hearts and minds, God of our nervous systems, as our eyes and ears try to take in another day of news, our little bodies absorb the shock of the biggest events of our lives. Help us make sense of what we honestly feel. Fear, loneliness, exhaustion, anger, and in naming what lives in our most inner selves, may we grow more human with each other, warm-blooded and social, communicative and relational present to nurse, eager to soothe the people we more fully can be. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. <laughs> Go in peace, joy, and joyful in the confidence of God's presence and love. Amen.